Well, hey everybody, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. It's a beautiful day today. I'm excited because I'm accepting new work in and I'm finally getting caught up on other work, like the Yamaha ATV. Yay, look how beautiful it is. In the meantime, I'm also starting a new job. It's kind of a specialty job, and that's the 2005 Ford Expedition. It's got the infamous 5.4 liter Ford Triton engine. I am doing a complete timing service to it, which means it's getting new timing chains, new tensioners, new guide rails, all new lifters, new cam phasers, water pump, oil pump, all new gaskets that are involved with that as well. So this, this vehicle has about 108, 110,000 miles on it and it started ticking and knocking real bad as they do, so it's time to service it. And in order to do that, we have to get down to the engine. As you can see, we have all this awesome glory that we need to get rid of. And so where I have started at was by removing the computer, the battery, and the battery compartment itself. And now I'm working my way. I've got the belt removed, and I'm working on getting the fan and the fan shroud removed. However, I've hit a snag. And that's, um, if you've done this before, then you know that not every fan and fan clutch is easy to take off and apart. And sometimes they get stuck on there. Sometimes I've had them take me as long as two days to get off. Uh, the conventional tools that we normally use to pull this one off is not working. And I actually broke one of my strap wrenches in an attempt to get it off. So I'm going to use a method that uh, I've used before and I'm going to use the air hammer in hopes of being able to knock it loose the best I can and I hope on my head there you've got a good shot and so yeah so I'm going to do I'm going to take the air hammer here and see if I can knock this loose enough so I can get this out of there and I'm going to take you along for the journey so let's get our air set up here and by removing these components like the battery, the battery compartment, the power steering reservoir, uh, by removing all this stuff out of the way, obviously it's going to give you good access to your valve covers and to your engine, and it's really going to open th uh, stuff up for you. So, all right, folks, here we go. Just want to get set in here. In a good position so I can get on here with this. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try a different fitting on here. I'm not going to use this one. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. Hopefully you guys can see down in there.
That may have actually done what I wanted it to do. Let's find out. And yes, it did. So as you can see, a little bit of a struggle, but now I've got it loose. And now we're going to get it out of there. Now, I'm going to warn you, don't let it fall and hit your radiator because you'll be replacing the, the radiator. I've done it before. All right, now, all we gotta do is lift this all out as one. <clears throat> Actually, what I think I'm gonna do first is get my fan out of the way. Whew, that's dirty. So now I can maneuver my shroud up and out of here. There we go. And now we're gonna put our shroud in the back safely back here, along with our fan. Look at all the dust on this thing. All the dirt, we will definitely be cleaning this off before we reinstall, that is for sure. Right. So now we're really talking. Because now we're really starting to get this engine opened up down in here. Okay. Get the belt removed. Get the water pump pulley. Off and out of the way. Okay. And next, I think I'll get in here and I'll get this power steering pump out of the way. And so that's where I'll start my next video from is getting the power steering reservoir out of the way there. Make sure all my bolts stay where they need to go. So there you go, folks. Getting the fan and fan clutch off was kind of a feat. It ended up breaking one of my tools, so I ended up using the air hammer to get it loose. Now we got it off of there, and we're in good shape. So I will start the next video off again, starting on the driver's side, getting some of my accessories and, and other things out of the way. All right, everybody. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. Thank you for watching. I am signing off.